Thank you for joining me today for our Connect lesson. Today it's called Drop Everything. So what I need you to do is take a second and pause our lesson and get four pieces of paper, whatever. No cards, any piece of paper that you could get. Okay, go ahead and get those. Okay, so now that you have the four cards, I want you to imagine that you have to leave your house very quickly. And I want you to write down one thing on each card, four things that you wanted to bring with. Ready, set, go. Okay, so do you have your four things? I bet it was hard to choose. It was hard to choose for me just four things. But here's what I chose. I chose my dog to bring out, all the pictures of my family and the adventures that we went on. My phone, in case I needed to call someone, because obviously it's an emergency when I was leaving. And of course, I should have started with this. My family. Make sure my whole family is out. So, because you can't share with me, because we're taping today, um, I hope maybe you had some different things than I had was kind of hard to choose, wasn't it? Just to choose four things. You might have wanted to bring your favorite video game, your video game unit, maybe your wallet with your money in it. And what about food? Maybe I'm gonna need some food. I don't know how long I'm gonna be gone. Or some clean clothes. Or maybe I will need a flashlight because it might get dark. It was hard to choose four things to bring with because I just said, go and drop everything. Well, that's what our scripture story is about today. It's about where Jesus met with the disciples and asked them to drop everything and follow him. Here's our story. Come follow me, Jesus said to the disciples. As I read our story today, because we were talking about dropping everything, and following Jesus, I want you to listen how many times the word everything comes in our story. Let us begin. Right after Jesus was baptized, he began his ministry and he chose some men to come with him as he traveled and preached. There were 12 of them and we know their na these men as the 12 disciples or the 12 apostles. You might think these guys were special somehow, like maybe they had everything in the Bible memorized or they spent more time praying than sleeping. But the truth is, they were just regular guys, just like you. They sinned just like we do. They weren't perfect, and they didn't do anything to deserve traveling with Jesus and becoming one of his disciples. But they did do one thing that made them kind of special. They dropped everything. The first two men Jesus called were actually brothers, Simon and Andrew. Simon and Andrew were fishermen, so they spent their days out on the Sea of Galilee together, casting nets and catching fish. Fishing was very important in two ways. One, it provided them with food to eat. I'm sure they sometimes wish they could eat something else for dinner, but at least they wouldn't starve. And two, it provided them with money. Any fish they didn't eat, they could sell at a market. Then they would have money to buy food, clothes, fishing supplies, and everything else that might pop up. So for Simon and Andrew, fishing was everything. It took up all their time and provided them with everything they needed to survive. But remember when I said they dropped everything? Jesus saw them casting their nets and called out to them, come follow me and I will send you out to fish for people. And they did. They left their nets, their fish, their home, their friends, their money. Simon and Andrew dropped everything to follow after Jesus. But that's not all. Just a little while later, Jesus saw another group of fishermen out in a boat. They were brothers named James and John fishing with their father. Jesus called out to the brothers and immediately they left, leaving everything behind, including their father. James and John dropped everything to follow after Jesus. So how many times did you count the word everything in there? I counted nine. Is that what you got? Then good for you. Well, 
that must have been really amazing to drop everything and just follow the stranger. Some of them left their father and their money and their home and their family just to follow Jesus. That is just amazing. Luckily for us, we don't have to leave everything to follow Jesus and to know the love of God, do we? We can still stay in our homes with our family, with our refrigerators that are full of food. We can do and follow God just by staying where we are. But maybe there's something we could get rid of that would help us focus more on God. Maybe the things that we do where we disobey something that our parents want us to do or ugly talk that we say to our family or friends. Or maybe it's taking a little more time for God and for church because we're so busy with other things. So that would be a way for us to give up something to focus more on God. So this week, I'd like you to focus on doing something just for God. Maybe it might be a kindness you to show to someone or learning a scripture from the Bible. Or it might be giving up something, a TV show that you usually like to watch in order to do something more for God at that time. So give that a try this week, doing something special for God. Let us pray. Dear God, we don't have to give up everything in order to follow you and to know your love. We can stay in the safety of our home with our family and all the things we love, but still have room for you. Help us to be your servant and to follow you and do what is needed. Amen. Okay, so now we're going to do our craft for today. You'll need to download the sheet that I attached with the 12 disciples. I have already colored mine in, so you will take your time and color them exactly like you'd like. And then you'll see along the bottom of their feet, there's little tabs where you can write their names. Now, where would you find their names? Well, you'll need your Bible because you're going to turn to Matthew 10, verse 2, and you will find all of their names in there that you can write on there. So then after you've colored them in, you'll cut them out. I'll cut out one. And you'll either make a little boat out of some other piece of paper for them to be inside of. Because remember from our story, they were mostly fishermen. So they each had a boat. So you will have them cut out and you might even want to put it on a little thicker paper so that they stand up better. I did find a boat that I had so mine could go inside a boat that I already had. Or you might build one out of Legos or you might take a piece of paper and fold it and make it and put some sides on it and make it into your boat and you could tape your people along there. However you'd like to design it. And I would love to see a picture of what you did with your disciples. So send that to my email. That would be wonderful. So I hope you enjoyed your craft for today and our lesson in Connect. And thank you so much for joining me. Have a great week.